Gray skies, rainy weeks resulting in planned cancellation, unsettling circumstances, and more. Is this still the California sunshine we used to be proud of? As you're well aware, in 2023 so far, California has had an extremely wet winter, replete with severe flooding, snowed in mountain communities and a massive snowpack. And we've had more rain spells than many of us have seen in years. Californians suffered through historic levels of rain and snow that flooded roads and homes, forced evacuations, and cut power to millions. What does all this rain mean and why has it been raining so much? Hello everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the unusual rainy season in California. We will try to find out the reason for the huge amount of rainfall so you can have a better understanding of it. First, let's take a look at the term atmospheric river. I am sure you've heard it a lot, but what is an atmospheric river exactly? Atmospheric rivers occur when water evaporates into the air and is carried along by the wind, forming relatively long and narrow regions in the atmosphere, like rivers in the sky. While atmospheric rivers can vary greatly in size and strength, the average atmospheric river carries an amount of water vapor roughly equivalent to the average flow of water at the mouth of the Mississippi River. Exceptionally strong atmospheric rivers can transport up to 15 times that amount. When the atmospheric rivers make landfall, they often release this water vapor in the form of rain or snow. We've had about 12 of them. We normally don't get this many. And perhaps the reason is that the pattern has not really changed too much, we've had a very static, consistent pattern that's very favorable for atmospheric rivers. Based on resources, 31 atmospheric rivers hit California from October last year to March this year. One of the most well-known atmospheric rivers is the Pineapple Express, long plumes of moisture that come up from the southwest in the tropical Pacific around Hawaii, which bring the rich, tropical moisture into a coastal storm and dump it in high concentrations on the U.S. and Canada's west coasts with heavy rainfall and snow. And, at the same time, storms are dropping straight out of Canada, bringing in very cold air to the region and causing a lot of snow in the mountains. Atmospheric rivers can stretch 1,000 miles long and 350 miles wide. The meteorological plumes of moisture affecting California recently have also overlapped with other severe weather, including bomb cyclones, which is a term for a rapidly strengthening storm that fulfills one important criterion. Generally, pressure must drop 24 millibars, a unit of pressure, within 24 hours. Severe droughts in the West have also affected the region's ability to absorb the water, which makes flooding much more likely. What are some of the long-term impacts because of the heavy rain? California's recent rain and snow have helped pull nearly two-thirds of the state out of drought conditions. However, while the state's drought situation has improved, there could be some long-term flooding issues in the main stem rivers. As we get warmer, all of that snow will start to melt, which would only cause more flooding and possible damage. Is this related to global warming? It is hard to predict at this moment and that is something the world climatologist would need to look into. As always, thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos explaining the stock market, real estate market as well as the finance and economy updates. And also feel free to add us on social media. In the meantime, we will see you soon and you have a wonderful rest of your days.